This is Vinyl Voices, brought to you by Adley Laughrin, Houston's personal injury attorney for 30 years. Welcome to the first ever episode of Vinyl Voices Radio here on ESPN 97.5. Each week we're going to dive deep and listen to some of the music and talk about the music and have the people on that made the music to discuss the song. I'm John Denman, my friend Jesse Sandejas, co-host. And this week, we have a fun band from Houston. That's right. We have Jump Rope this week. Welcome to the show, Jump Rope. Thank you. Yeah, glad to be here. Yeah, welcome to the show and welcome to, uh, you know, helping us work out everything for the first show. <laughs> glad <laughs> We want to hear, hear the songs. It's very song-centric. We want to have the show's listeners and viewers hear the songs. And while we're doing that, we're going to be drinking some delicious Megaton beer, who is our beer sponsor this week. And so Jared, our buddy over here, he is sitting behind the lights and the cameras. But uh, beer and music, I don't know, it's always good together. You can't go, you know, it's hard to go to a show and not drink a beer. You need a beer. Yes. Unless you're sober and that's fine too. If that's what you right. need to be, then <laughs> be that. Be yes. that. Right. Yes. Yeah. That, that's the better of you, if you need to be that. Very diplomatic answer. That's great. I'm trying to be. I love that. So um, what song are we going to listen to first? I think we're listening to uh, CCV first. I think we're listening to uh, CCV first. Oh, great. Yeah. I love that song. I, I love it, too. That's my favorite song on the album, actually. So. All right. Well, let's listen to CCV from Jump Rope. jams yeah Hell yeah i mean the whole the whole album's good obviously you know i mean i like all the songs but there's just certain ones that like kind of hit you so i mean from just a question asker standpoint why would that one kind of grab me out of all the ones on the oh, that's a cool question you know that song i feel like is really special to all of us because it's the first jump rope song that we all wrote together in the same room. 
Um, I think, you know, the rest of the songs on the EP were more like, oh, I wrote something and brought it to the table. Oh, Taylor wrote something and brought it to the table, you know? But this is the first one that was just us in a practice studio, and we were just riffing on a little riff, and Nolan, who's very good at this, was like, hey, what was that? It sounded cool, do it again. And then we just wrote the song. I think we jammed through it, and probably the length of the song is the amount of time that it wrote for us uh, it took for us to write the music. Wow. So it was very natural, kind of like one take, and then we're like, oh, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. And it kind of came from that. Um, so yeah, it's very special to us in that way. I think of it as like the first real jump rope song. So. Nice. For you at that time, you know, you're kind of like taking on a new instrument, right? Yeah. So speak to that a little bit, no? Yeah, so um, jump rope originally started as just Chris and Taylor and they had um, I guess two other drummers um, like before in the early stages of the band and the first or second show they ever played uh, I saw them and it was at the shed which was just a shed behind a house in Houston in the East End and uh, saw them play and I was like that's really cool and I know that their drummer is moving away I don't play drums but I want to play drums for them and so I told them that and they gave me a shot, and so I learned how to play drums while playing in this band. So, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's really how long did that take? Band. I mean, how long has this band been around? Two and a half years. Yeah, that's pretty good. I've been playing drums for, I don't know, a long time, and I still don't <laughs> consider myself a drummer. <laughs> me neither. So. <laughs> I think it's one of those things, too, where, like, we knew Nolan is this, like, really incredible guitar player, a very creative person, so when he comes up and he's like, hey, I don't play drums, but I want to play drums, we're like, cool. Like, I'm sure you got it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he got it. <laughs> yeah. Fake it till you make it, right? You're taking lessons. He's doing great. Very lucky. I think the lyrics for that song were something that took a while to get to, where we kind of had one concept that we were working on, and then we worked through it a lot, and then kind of came back to that original concept, and we're like, why did we do this? Like, on our way back from our little Louisiana like show weekend that we had, I was trying to pull up a music clip to show Taylor, and I was like, oh, here are 10 versions of the bridge of that song that I recorded on my computer, and we're just like listening to them on the phone. We're like, nowhere near as good as what we arrived on. <laughs> well, the the one lyric in that song that really stands out to me the most is uh, your first idea is the right one. And that like particular line in the song, I feel like you had a million different versions of it. Like oh, you yeah. cycled, uh, what's the idea, what's the idea, what's the idea? And then just came back to your first idea is the right one. And I feel like that's kind of, I don't know, maybe a thesis for jump rope or whatnot, but it, to me, it, I don't know, it holds a lot of weight. Time yeah. for you to grab another beer. Grab me one too, huh? Final Voices will be right back. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Good. What is your name, you beautiful sir? Chan. Okay, I have a question for you. Are you prepared? Okay, my question is, what would your theme song be whenever you walked into a room? Screaming noises. <laughs> I'm curious as to why. Because I'm angry and I need to hear screaming noises. I like that. I like that. Have a great night. Hi, my name is Emma. It is me. It wasn't. I, I didn't come up with this idea. My dad did. And now I'm here. Thank you. Are you done with your interview? I'm done with my interview. I am done with my interview. He is done with his interview. 